predatory species such as the wolf and lynx are sensationalist animals. They draw attention from a wide audience. So the significance of reptiles and amphibians can at times be underestimated, but not to Harvey Tweets and Tom Whitehurst. These two teenage boys are on a mega mission to rewild Britain. Like other young people, Harvey and Tom are having to study from home, but they've been keeping busy building an amazing project. They want to replace the toads, frogs and lizards to British ponds, lakes and wetlands once more. They want to restore reptile and amphibian species that are either virtually extinct or have been extinct for centuries in this country. They're also nurturing the common toad, which have declined by 68% in Britain since the 80s. Celtic reptile and amphibian, which is what they've named their new company, is hoped to be the country's largest outdoor breeding facility for reptiles and amphibians. In the long term, they hope that the European pond turtle, which they source from Moldova, and the Esculapian snake already unofficially released in a couple of UK sites are reintroduced. They've secured the financial backing of leading rewilders and they're already earning sponsorship from their YouTube channel. This allowed them to rent a half acre patch of ground, a short walk from their homes. This is going to be their new breeding facility. They're still working on the site and are currently building a security fencing for the enclosures with rat-proof mesh and a quarantine area. Ultimately, they want to breed thousands of amphibians and reptiles to support conservation programs and bring back species including the pool frog, the agile frog and the moor frog on Britain's new beaver-created wetlands. Collectively, amphibians assemble into a massive superorganism which feeds many species Younger people are starting to get on board with environmentalism. We need wildlife and environmental education. Rewilding Britain could be at the forefront of this learning. Harvey and Tom's dedication, enthusiasm and knowledge could pave the way for more young people to get involved.